when you started your GLP-1 journey or if you're just starting your GLP-1 journey, I want you to drop in the chat of this video. What is your ideal or goal for percentage of body weight lost on a GLP-1 medication? Eli Lilly actually did a fascinating study on this and we're going to get into what everyone said. This was a thousand seven patients that Eli Lilly basically polled and they asked them what their dream percentage was, what their goal percentage was, what they'd be happy with and what would be acceptable and disappointing. So let's get into the numbers here. I'm curious what your number was for your, uh, for your dream. What were you hoping when you started a GLP-1? So the dream on average for people was 23.5% of their body weight, which is just a tick above the average for terzepatide. Goal was 16.7% weight loss on average. People said they'd be happy with 14.6% weight loss. People said 10.3% weight loss uh, of total body weight would be acceptable, but they would be disappointed with anything around 4.8%. Again, I want to hear from you. When you started, what were your expectations? This is kind of interesting because at the top end of people's dream is right around what people tend to lose with Zepbound. At the bottom end, 4.8%, which is right around 5%, that's actually the threshold for a weight loss medication. It has to prove that people can lose 5.0% of their body weight, 4.8% being what people would be disappointed with. Now, interestingly enough, and this is a fun little tidbit about the future of these medications, Reditrutide, in the trials for Reditrutide, 100% of the participants, you heard me right, 100% of the participants that took Reditrutide lost at least 5% of their body weight. So nobody's going to be disappointed with that, it sounds like. What are your thoughts? Drop it in the chat. I would love to hear from you. Let's go.